right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the All Elite Wrestling Unrivaled Collection Series 1 Wave of Figures. Now these have just started to roll out in Walmart stores across the country. Most stores are getting a little palletized shipper that has the AEW figures on top, an AEW championship belt in the middle, and then the UFC figures down at the bottom. Now I struck out a couple times where I found that scalpers had already literally wiped out nothing but the AEW figures, and I kind of confirmed that with the Facebook Marketplace because I saw tons and tons of local listings of these figures priced at $60 a piece so unfortunately some scalpers are definitely taking advantage of these but these will be readily available throughout the fall and the holiday season so don't pay those scalper prices if you're on the hunt for these fortunately though after lots of legwork i was able to pick up five of the six of this series one figures at walmart found a brand new shipper being put on the display uh, unfortunately it does not have brandy Rhodes out there and available if you want a brandy Rhodes action figure you'll have to order from ringsidecollectibles.com or you'll have to wait for Walmart restocks because right now she is not shipping on those shippers. So she's gonna be very difficult to find as of right now. Examining the packaging, this is uh, very reminiscent of the WWE Classic Superstars line. We got a nice little glam shot of the wrestler here on the side. Got a big, beautiful open window box display. This is gonna be great for autographs if you're an inbox collector and you're looking to get some wrestling autographs for your figures. On the side, we get the wrestler's name, and it has that nice gold font. Continues over here on the All Elite logo, as well as another glam shot of the wrestler. And these are numbered, which is great. So if you're you know, a checklist type of collector and you're trying to make sure you've got all of them, they are numbered on the side, as well as there's actually a little bit of an Easter egg. So we have a different letter on the side on the right-hand corner of each one of these figures, and it actually spells out Be Elite. So that was a, a neat little Easter egg that they included on the packaging. Up top, of course, we got the All Elite Wrestling logo, again with the gold E in the Elite, as well as the nice shiny gold up here on the top. On the back side, we've got a nice action shot of the wrestler, their signature, and then a call out to what this action figure is based upon. So this is from Double or Nothing, May 25th, 2019 in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the ring attire and gear that Cody wore during that show. So it's very cool that they have that kind of information there because a lot of times, you know, with other companies, um, you're left guessing as to what they're trying to emulate and mimic because a lot of times uh, they'll have a, like a, a SummerSlam card on it, but you know, it's ring attire that that wrestler definitely didn't wear at something like SummerSlam. So props to them for getting all their information out there and available to those diehard collectors. But enough about the packaging. Let's get them out of the packaging and examine them up close. All right, we wouldn't be doing wrestling figures justice if we didn't have them in a ring. And this is the AEW core ring found at Walmart, 1999. I really like it. Uh, you definitely have a lot of extra stickers to be putting on because you got to put stickers on the individual turnbuckles. And unfortunately, that was my only real criticism of this ring is that the stickers are very uh, cheap. So if you try to peel them off, especially on the side banner here, um, or pick them up and readjust them, you will separate the sticker from the backing and, and then it just becomes a pain in the butt. But overall, I like the look of it. I really like the fact that there is no spring center like the WWE rings. I just don't really enjoy that bouncy part. But the figures, let's talk about them. So we'll start with Cody, the man himself. Right out of the gate, we got that nice little tattoo on his chest of the dream. There is no American Nightmare logo tattoo on the neck, which is great. Obviously in future releases, you will get a new updated Cody tattoo on his neck. Uh, I'm not a fan of the tattoo as probably a lot of you are in the same boat, but because this was, you know, back from 2019, he didn't have the tattoo yet. So it makes sense that it's not on this figure. Face scan, I think they did a pretty good job. Nice likeness. Points of articulation, we have 25 points of articulation in total. So the head moves down, looks up quite a bit. Spins all the way around like the Exorcist. Shoulders raise quite high. We got 360 rotation of the shoulder, 360 rotation of the bicep. And then we have a double hinge elbow, which is great. So you can really get those hands close to their face. I mean, you can you can have him drinking a soda or doing whatever. Hands themselves rotate around 360 as well as hinge back and forth. So that's great. And I've got his arm twisted all sorts of weird ways. All right. We got the big ab crunch. This is one of the 
key features of this lineup. So big, big bend there, extends quite far back, quite far forward. 360 hip rotation, spin them around. Legs, kick far forward, kick far back, kick outwards. And this is only a minor gripe, but this is something I've noticed across all of these figures is the ball joints inside the hips here. They are that flesh color, which like I said, it's a minor gripe, but if you definitely for the young bucks, if you're doing like this super kick movement, you see this, you know, flesh colored eyesore from the bottom of the figure. So that's one thing in future releases, I hope they either color them black or, you know, maybe go the extra mile and color them the same paint as the gear but I understand cost cutting measures. Got his taped up left hand, nice snake looking print in his gear, Got the nice CR on the boots, and then the belt itself with the attitude killer and the belt is removable, simply just unsnap it there. And he does come with a sledgehammer accessory. Put that in his arm, or excuse me, in his hand. Snaps in there, quite nice. Very good looking figure overall. Happy, happy with it. Like I said, I just wish the, the flesh color would get a little, little revamp and a little redesign for future releases. If you're wondering how these compare to the WWE Elite Series, you can see they match up quite well. Um, size, scale, features, retail price point, they're both gonna be $19.99. So you're definitely going to have a great, great purchasing opportunity for these at the retail price because you're getting accessories and you're getting good sculpts and articulation so and plus like i said scale so if you want to have cross promotion matches or whatever you can do that with your wwe figures that already exist so let's get cody out of the way moving on to le champion mr chris jericho has a removable hat same points of articulation across the board for all these figures so we're not going to cover that any more Looking at this face detail though, they did an excellent, excellent job, I think, with Jericho's face scan. He's got this rubber soft goods jacket, got a nice, you know, shiny metallic looking scarf. The jacket is removable. And one thing I really am impressed with is they actually have these little like plastic protective sleeves over the skin of the figure that separates the soft goods, the jacket. And I'm assuming that is so we don't get like uh, color rub so we didn't have any like black marks or anything on the flesh of the figure himself but we've got some nice details of the blue painted studs silver spikes on the shoulder i mean this is a very ornate and intricate ring gear jacket that he wears same thing with his boots nice lace-up detail knee pads Great job with the tattoo. So let's go ahead and get his jacket off and see how they did on the tattoos. All right, examining the arm tattoos, very good details on these. Definitely getting a lot of bang for your buck as far as details and accessories with this Jericho figure, because again, he has these ornate tattoos on his arms. He does have this awesome jacket as well as the hat. And he also does come with two removable black glove hands that can go with his ring gear that he's wearing with his entrance entrance jacket. Very, very good job on Jericho. Definitely a good bang for your buck. Speaking of bucks, haha, <laughs> bad pun. We got Matt and Nick and their classic flexing entryway pose. We got the Elvis Presley style, you know, performance jacket. I don't know what else to, to call it. You know, this is their entrance gear. Nice soft goods. It's got, you know, little tassels hanging off. Got the nice Young Bucks logo there on the back. Got that shiny, glittery collar. Held together by Velcro. So you just unvelcro it there. And again, jackets do come off very easily. So you can have completely normal ring gear young bucks we got the rigid edge tassels here so instead of having soft goods tassels these are all molded 
We got the bell bottom pants that they're used to wearing. And again, lots of great flexibility. You can do super kicks. Downside is, you know, the revealing nature of those flesh color joints inside the hips. But regardless, the ability to do super kicks and pose these guys, it's absolutely fantastic. Face scan, I think they did an excellent job on both of them. Back it up a little bit. Nice good headband mold there. Great looking figures. And last but not least is Kenny Omega. He's got his entrance one sleeve jacket. Comes with a classic finger gun pose as well as two interchangeable hands. So he has a, another gun finger pose and then another gripping hand that you can interchange with him. As far as his entrance gear, this sleeve does come off, pop off the hand, slides off. The one winged angel jacket does come off, of course, and it also snaps together if you want to keep it on there nice and tight. Just snap it on there. Ring gear, did a great job. Got the K Omega, nice details on his knee pads and his kickers and the boots. Good articulation and rotation of the feet there. Yeah, we get back and forth, side to side. You got knee cuts, boot cuts, knees bend back and forth. Like I said, I love the articulation of this lineup. Face scans and everything. The only things I would change would be the flesh skin colors. Just, you know, make that a little bit darker. Overall, I think these are fantastic figures and I can't wait to get the rest of the lineup. So if you're looking to pick up any of these figures or the ring or the belt or anything like that, I'll put product links down in the video description box below so you can easily look them up or buy them online if that's what you're into. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.